So we're going to continue with our demonstration of cheese making here at La Sorgente in Sorrento, Italy. And we have two different types of mozzarella here. On the right side here is treccia, which is the braided fresh mozzarella. Yes. And the left one is called again? Cascio cavallo. Ca what does that mean, cascio cavallo? If I want to translate it word by word, it means uh, cheese and horse. Cheese and horse? Yes, because it was an old way to say, put uh -huh. the cheese saddled. Uh -huh. Saddled to dry it up, you know, saddled. Okay, okay. So it's an Italian cascia caval, mm -hmm. that means saddled on a horse. Saddled on a horse, so okay. So to dry it up, you know, you have to hang it up. Uh huh. So and it's not the real name of a cheese, it's just the way how to hang it. Yes, exactly. Saddled. And this uh, Very good. was the old way and now it's the, the, the name what remains, you know? Mm -hmm. Perfect. <coughs> Very nice. And one of them is aged, right? The one that looks this like a round aged. shape? Yes. Okay. And this is the one to eat fresh. The one to eat fresh. And how long does the... The aged one keep? Yeah. Oh, months. And, and how long do you age it? 15 days. And then 15 it's days? like this. And then okay. another month when you... But you can keep it also two months. Yeah. It's only oh. Harder, harder. Oh, it gets harder. Yes, exactly. Because most of the mozzarella I know is quite soft. Yeah. Fresh mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella. But this is cascio cavallo. After it will be a different consistency. Okay. It's in a way like a provolone. I, okay, I understand. In the same way, when we cut mm -hmm. up, it's not so soft and moist like this one, yes. the fresh one. It's it's more harder, also like an emmental without holes. Exactly. In that consistency, it's dry. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it becomes like a harder cheese. Yes. And the longer you age it, the drier it, yes. it gets. and harder it gets. Exactly. Also. Makes sense. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much for this wonderful demonstration. She, I forgot to tell you. Yes. We had an American-Italian chef here. Uh huh. And his Which name one? Is Rocco di Spirito. Rocco. I think I've heard of him. I yes. I have a photo here. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's have a peek. Rocco di Spirito. Yeah, he's uh -huh. the chef, and he made a cookbook with us. Oh yeah. He asked about doing mozzarella. Uh huh. And Kerem uh, Marie. Maestro Landi. And I show you the cookbook after. Yes, yes very good. Inside. Okay, thank mm. you so much, Rosa. Ciao. <laughs>